What's up guys, many of you have been asking me to check out Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer and that's exactly what I've done today. So before we even get into the animation, let me just say this game looks like a movie. This game looks absolutely beautiful. It never hurts to have uh, great animation, but great animation that's beautifully rendered out. Just a little tip right there. Now within this trailer, there are a lot of horses and there are a lot of quadrupeds. And I have to say quadrupeds are probably the most difficult things to animate. And one of the reasons is, you know, I, I'm not a horse. I don't know <laughs> how many horses there are that are animators, but it, it makes it difficult to act out a scene. So if a horse is, or horse is injured or you have a quadruped that has to, to, to walk a certain way or turn around, it's, it makes it a little difficult because guess what? You don't get to just turn on your camera and record it. You have to look out and search for footage. The next thing is, is that there's a lot of weight that's being shifted and you have to know where that weight is in order to really sell uh, the movement. And when it comes to horse, you have a walk, you have a trot, you have a gallop, and not only do you have those animations, but you also have to be able to blend between those animations while selling weight. So there's a lot on the plate when it comes to a quadruped, and that's really where you're gonna see you know, your beginning animators versus your more experienced animators when it comes to animating a quadruped. So moving forward, going into the first shot that I like, it's going to be the shot of Arthur on the horse. Um, if you look at the shot, there's a lot of overlap on the bags on the horse selling the weight. Um, there's even overlap on the, I guess, the little band around Arthur's hat, if you look really closely, which I thought is it's a beautiful detail. Um, his body is reacting to the steps that the horse takes. Uh, you guys have to understand, this isn't a cutscene, this is actual in-game animation. This is a cycle, and it's really, it's really impressive to see such weight and such detail being shown in this cycle. Next up in the trailer is going to be, honestly, the only problem I have in this whole trailer. And that is gonna be when, when, when Arthur is thrown out the window, the animation is great, right? But the problem I see is that his face, when it transitions into actual gameplay out of the cutscene, his face goes completely blank. If you look at the cutscene, you know, there seems to be some inks on his face, you know, from you know being thrown out a window, of course. And then as it transitions into gameplay, his face is just is just completely blank, just like almost like T pose blank, like nothing is going on there. I wish they could, you know, in the finished product, they they you know address this and show some some facial animation in this scene. That's the only thing that really stuck out, and honestly, this whole trailer because everything is really nicely done. This now leads us to my favorite shot of the trailer, and you know, there's nothing really fancy going on, but the detail, the devil is in the detail. There is so much character shown in these walk cycles. If you, just, to, just to go through them, if you look at the girl, right? The girl, she has two hands on the rifle. She's the only person in this entire scene to have two hands on a rifle. Her hat is down, um, the brim is down, you can't really see her face until the end of the walk. Um, there's a lot of character there, right? She, she's having it not on, she's not holding up in a, up on her shoulder or anything like that. It's out in front of her, right? As to shield her, as to protect her. Uh, the guy next to her, his rifle is on his shoulder. He has more of a cocky, uh, loose walk to him. Now the guy next to him, you, you have this big brute type character who's holding the rifle with one hand, right? He's, he's, he's cocky as well. Um, you have this big movement with his left hand as he starts his, his walk cycle. It seems as though as he was talking maybe to someone uh, before this cut, but he's not even really paying attention to where he's walking because he, you know he, no one's gonna get in his way. You can tell that by his walk and by his demeanor. Now, this goes to the guy next to Arthur. Now, he has a revolver similar to Arthur, but if you notice his walk, it's very right, it's very tight. You know, his clothes are similar to the guy with the, with the, with the rifle on his shoulder, but you can tell his demeanor is very different. This guy is not playing around. He means business, he's going there for a mission, and that's it. This now leads us to Arthur. Arthur has a little swagger on his walk. He's got a little sway to, you know, side to side. In addition to that, his belt, compared to everyone else's belt, his belt is really sagging. And there's so much character in these walks and there's so much character that you can go on and on to the clothes that they're wearing, to the how they're wearing their clothes. Um, it's really great. And so for those of you who are doing a walk cycle, remember to keep that in mind. Remember that if you're going to do something as you know mundane as a walk cycle, sell it with some characters, sell it with some background, sell it, you know, it, you know, with, with clothes you put on the character, sell it any way possible to show that this is not just another vanilla walk cycle, that there's character behind this walk cycle. 
from that shot, we go to this shot with, with this old guy putting his gun back into the holster. I know many of you guys are like, well, you know, what's so special about this shot? But the devil is in the details, like I always say. And if you notice the animation, he looks for his holster before he puts it away. Now, if we contrast this very same movement with Arthur in the final shot of the trailer, Arthur puts his gun away without even looking. In addition to that, he does a little spin on top of it and then puts it in. And it shows so much character. You don't have to know anything about Arthur. You don't have to know anything about his background. If you compare this shot to the old guy putting in his holster, even to the pose that he has, it's like this heroic, like old guy sh sheriff type pose. It, it, it's, it's night and day. So even the most mundane task, if you can add some contrast to it, it it'll sell the character. Now, the next thing I noticed in the trailer, it's, it's a really small thing. And <laughs> It's when Arthur is pouring coffee out, well, I'm, I'm guessing it's coffee, into his cup. Liquid, if you look closely, liquid is coming out of the pot. I can't tell you how many times that I've seen a demo reel where someone is pouring, you know, some liquid out of, out of a, a cup or something, or they're taking a bite out of a sandwich, and the sandwich is still whole after they bite it. That is probably one of my biggest pet peeves. I can't stand it. If you don't know how to do liquid, fine. Uh, model some polygon, model a cube or something, deform it, and then, you know, uh, animate the transparency or something. Something, because I can't, I cannot stand when someone does a shot with liquid coming out, or we're supposed to buy that he's chewing on something, and you don't see any food in the person's mouth, and it's a close-up. It, it takes you away from the immersion of the scene, and that's not what you wanna do, or it's, it's definitely not the experience you want to have on the audience as an animator. Now, finishing this trailer up, uh, there's a small little great detail I noticed, and that's when he, Arthur, repositions himself on the horse. Um, it, it's, it's little stuff like that that makes this just amazing to watch. It's, it's, it's once you actually replay the trailer, you know, maybe twice or three times or four times, you start to notice little details like that, that just, it, it man, it's that spit shine polish. And anyone who's actually, you know, ridden a horse before, you can tell, you know, after riding a while, it gets, it gets a little uncomfortable and you, you gotta reposition yourself. So it's great that they included that in the animation. And to finish this off, I have to say this shot is is breathtaking and that is going to be the shot of the horse turning around and and galloping away there is <laughs> i can only imagine like the technical animator like the work he had to go through to get this to, to, to flow as well as it does because it it's it's so smooth and the transitioning is gorgeous you can feel the weight of the horse but you can in addition to that feel the weight and the impact of that horse it has on the rider it has on arthur Hopefully it is just as responsive as it is beautiful to watch. Because I have to say, I don't know anything about the story so far. I don't know anything about the game mechanics or anything like that. But if we're judging this off of animation, what we've seen so far, um, guys, we are in for a definite treat. Anyways, guys, that is gonna wrap up the video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, guys, keep animating.